lock, load, and whatever you do, don't stop running. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 arena shooters. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. Okay, so the arena shooter was a difficult subgenre to define. For this list, we've chosen to look at arcade-style multiplayer shooters that drop players into a small deathmatch arena, focus on score-based matches, and that start players off on even footing. This means that class and objective-based shooters like Call of Duty, Splatoon, or Overwatch cannot be on the list, but you might notice a few entries that bend the genre rules a little. Like we said, it was tough. <laughs> Number 10, Screen Cheat. Here's an indie title so reliant on nostalgia that it might only appeal to the late 90s, early 2000s home console fans. So, this game's very unique gimmick plays on the biggest flaw with split-screen multiplayer. How? Because every player is playing on and looking at the same TV screen, everyone can see what everyone else is doing if they so choose. Screen Cheat embraces that by making every player invisible, forcing players to look at other people's screens to see where they are and where to shoot. Oh. Oh. A stylized and fun time waster to play with friends. The end result is a game that's not totally absurd, but even a little bit spooky. I'm Did just you know shooting anything? cannons pointlessly. Hey, don't you know anything about hydration? Number nine, Turok Rage Wars. Doing its absolute best to bridge the gap between PC first-person shooters and its home console brethren, Acclaim developed a shooter exclusive to the N64, Turok Rage Wars. An ambitious gambit, Rage Wars was a multiplayer-focused FPS whose single-player mode was little more than matches against AI-controlled bots. Leaning away from the previous games in the Turok franchise, this game aimed for balanced play with weapons and maps more akin to what you'd find in Doom or Quake. While the title really hasn't aged well, it definitely offered its fair share of enjoyable multiplayer mayhem in its day. Number 8. Reflex Arena If there's ever been a better place to find throwbacks to the genres of old than the Steam Marketplace, we've yet to find it. For example, it's there that you can find Reflex Arena, a game that prides itself on being a straight-up homage to the twitchy deathmatch games of the late 90s, many of which you'll see later on this list. Anyone who's disappointed that the new Quake game is going to have hero classes in it or that killstreaks and golden AKs dominate the online scene these days should definitely rocket jump their way into this title. It's time to frag like it's 1999, which is coincidentally less than you'll have to pay in order to try it. Number 7, Time Slitters 2. <laughs> Bringing GoldenEye 007's distinct style of split-screen multiplayer into the 6th gen era, Time Splitters 2 kept simple and chaotic couch deathmatch alive for another generation at least. With its time traveling theme, players get to frag each other in maps ranging from different time periods and mixing in guns like plasma weapons in with Tommy guns and lever action sniper rifles. Fast-paced action with almost no downtime between lives means that this game might look like a bit of a shit show by today's standards, but believe us, the carnage is well-crafted and intentionally fun. Number 6, Half-Life 2 Deathmatch. Yes, this game has multiplayer, new we're not talking about Counter-Strike, and while it's not widely recognized or even touched upon by many of its fans, those that took the time to try it were treated to a fairly unique deathmatch experience. Like all classic arena shooters, Half-Life 2 Deathmatch took all of the single-player weapons and let players shoot, slice, impale, blow up, and blast each other apart with them. Of course, the real fun here involved the game's signature gravity gun, which turned many fights into a juggling act of catching and throwing heavy toilets at one another, looking for the funniest and most humiliating ways to literally crush your friends. Number 5, Doom 1993. While mostly talked about for its impact on single-player first-person shooters, the success of Doom's multiplayer goes largely underappreciated. Considered bare bones by today's standards, being able to bring your weapon arsenal to bear on your friends in any of Doom's maps was so popular that many ISPs were having trouble keeping up with the demand Twitch shooting brought to their networks. 
For many 90s gamers though, lag be damned, and despite the fact that the technology wasn't quite there yet, players stuck with it and Doom's evolving and updating multiplayer is still being enjoyed to this very day. Number 4. Perfect Dark Rare's 1997 darling GoldenEye 007 is quite possibly the most important console shooter of all time, which is kind of amazing considering the fact that the multiplayer was a last minute addition. The game's spiritual successor, Perfect Dark, took the wonderfully addictive competitive gameplay and gave it the attention it deserved, improving upon every aspect of GoldenEye's deathmatch. Here, players get a huge variety of well-balanced weapons and drop them into maps that were designed as multiplayer stages and not just repurposed single-player levels. While there is something uniquely fun about GoldenEye's multiplayer deathmatch in elaborate single-player maps, Perfect Dark truly brings together the best of both worlds. Number 3. Halo 2 Game Relief. The first Halo was a marvel whose split-screen multiplayer dominated living rooms all over the world. Halo 2, however, added a feature pretty much unheard of for console games at the time, online multiplayer. Expanding the chaos with a bigger player count, more vehicles, and much bigger maps, Halo 2 brought the franchise's multiplayer from fun time waster to the reason to own a console. With a huge weapon variety and tons of match customization options, people were still enjoying Halo 2's multiplayer right up until the servers shut down in 2010. Luckily, subsequent Halo games continue to have fantastic multiplayer, and Halo 2 will always hold a special place in gamers' hearts. Lost the lead. Number 2. Quake 3 Arena With the evolutionary success of Quake 2's multiplayer deathmatch, it was only natural for developer id Software to give gamers more of what they were craving. Multiplayer-only focused shooters were still a controversial idea back in the late 90s, but Quake 3 was so much fun that gamers were won over almost immediately. <laughs> With a laser focus on fast-paced competitive play, hardcore shooter fans finally had a game exclusively designed to pit the best in the world in an endless loop of kill, die, and respawn. While it may lack some of the frills of its ahem, unreal competitor, Quake 3 stands as a monument to the culmination of everything the 90s brought to multiplayer FPS games. Number 1. Unreal Tournament Choosing between Unreal Tournament and Quake 3 was just as difficult for us now as it was for gamers over 15 years ago. Like Quake 3, people were skeptical at first with the idea of a multiplayer-focused first-person shooter with no real single-player campaign. But with over 50 incredible maps and 6 game types including the fantastic Assault Mode, Unreal Tournament proved that a multiplayer game could have just as much content and value as any single-player shooter of its generation. From the sharp and satisfying sound effects on every rocket to the thrills of instantly giving enemies with the flak cannon, this game is some of the tightest and most fun multiplayer shooting out there, and the pinnacle of arena shooters. Congratulations, you are the winner! Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.